what is up guys today we are looking at another video it's tropical island so imagine actually being on a tropical island brother i mean that's going to be some cool stuff in germany as well so let's have a look here tropical island resort in a german blimp hangar as you can see the thumbnail here does look pretty amazing bro i mean look at that bro all right this is just making me want to watch the video more and more so let's get right onto it let's say see what we have guys and yeah let's like the video don't forget to smash the like button here as well guys subscribe to the channel it really does support me and yeah hope you enjoy let's get it going Bro, I feel like it's going to be a good one. Nestled in the middle of the forest in Germany, you will find one of the world's largest buildings. And Whoa, look at that, that bro. Used to house look at blimps. that. But now houses a tropical oasis theme park by the name of Tropical Islands Resort. No way. The resort is actually located on the site of a former Soviet military air base. In bro, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, is this a real thing in Germany? Bro, if that's a real thing, like that's a place I need to visit, bro. Tropical island, man. That is just insane. Krosnik, Germany, inside a hangar built originally to house Zeppelin airships designed to haul long distance cargo. Wow. This gargantuan hangar is huge and is the biggest freestanding hall in the world. It is 1,180 feet long. Look how big that is. That's pretty wide huge. And 351 feet tall. To put that into perspective, you can fit inside eight football fields and the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> eight football fields and the Statue of Liberty. So just imagine how big this thing is. Or you could slide the Eiffel Tower in on its side. What? The man that's how long that is. Bro, that, that's like a pool beach, bro. That's crazy. Like you see they have this they have the sand like right all here with sunbeds as well. And then they got like it's a pool like designed to be as a beach. I'm guessing this makes some waves as well somehow. And they have like an island in the middle of that and a ship here, bridges, trees. That's that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty amazing. Now a getaway of choice for German and Polish families who want to experience a rainforest atmosphere in Central Europe. Nah, bro, that's the crazy. The is split into four sections. And, and here you, you see there's a higher level. So this is for people who probably want to like sunbathe. I think that's the thing here. I think sun does come through, right? I'm, I'm hoping it does. Sections. The tropical village, the rainforest, the tropical sea and the Bali Lagoon. The rainforest is said to be the biggest indoor rainforest replica in the world. Wow. It is home to 50,000 plants of 600 different species, plus various That's exotic sick, birds, turtles, and fish. Flamingos. There is also a 3,000 square meter sea with a 200 meter long beach that stretches along its shoreline. The park is also covered with a large number of whirlpools, jacuzzis, jacuzzis, bro. That's sick. And look at that design, bro. They have like the rocks. Bro, that's cool. That's cool. And like mini waterfalls and stuff. It's pools, a waterfall, as well as Germany's tallest slide, slide? at 27 meters. What? 27 meter slide, bro. Where else can you find that, bro? Man, no way. That everything so far is just a fire, man. There are also thirteen different restaurants. You see, there are so the many cool places in Germany. Like I don't know that if people realize this, but from everything I've literally been reacting to in Germany, I really do enjoy it. I mean, you guys in the comments as well. I mean, everything is amazing. The people everything in general bro a mini golf course and there are even tethered balloon rides that oh wow above the tropical forest that's, that's where birds nice fly free there are three accommodation options within the giant dome okay th this is gonna be pricey man that's gonna be some pricey pricey stuff from rooms and lodges to tents in the adventure tents? rainforest okay. camp there is also a campsite outside the dome as well as mobile wow. homes mobile and homes. holiday homes the hangar has year-round heating 
with a constant air temperature of 26 degrees Celsius All and right. a humidity of 60%. The water temperature of the... Oh my goodness, look at how it looks in the dark, bro. The, the whole pool is literally lit up here. The lighting is amazing. That looks beautiful. Just beautiful. The lagoon is 32 degrees and the sea is 28 degrees. Okay. Regardless of the weather outside the hangar. They do have some nice like wooden small cabin sort of houses here. That's another cool thing. I mean, people can go walk around like this tropical island. I mean, bro, that's something like I could spend months here, man. Months, I'm telling you, if not even years, man. <laughs> Guests will always enjoy a temperature of 26 degrees. I see there's like a, a mini park down here. I see a pool table, some other games here by the looks of it. Wow, man, like that's that's amazing. Needless to say, it's all lush, green and sweaty with inspiration taken from locations like Bali, Thailand and... Okay, so they did get some inspirations from Bali, of course, Thailand. I mean, bro, look at this. They, is this like a restaurant? They have a restaurant as well. It seems to be like in the middle. I mean, down here is the beach we actually saw. Here is further back. Here we see the slides. Nah, bro, that is, that is cool. That is cool. In Fiji. The resort has been open since 2004 and attracts over 6,000 visitors a day and over 1.1 million people visited in 2007. Wait, did he say 6,000 visitors a day? Hang on. I want to hear that again. And visitors a day has been open since 2004 and attracts over 6,000 visitors a day and over 1.1 million people visited in 2017. <laughs> That's well, insane. You know what bro. they say. That's crazy. If you can't bring people to Fiji, bring Fiji to the people. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, the design as well, like the quality of this. I think these are like solar panels as well, right? It looks pretty amazing overall. Bye bye. Oh, but it does seem like it's in the middle of nowhere. Like, look, you see nothing around there. Guys, let me know, is this an actual thing in Germany? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, my opinion on this is like, bro, absolutely love it. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and peace out.